What if I told you the most powerful rocket ever built cannot be flown by humans at all? Starship produces over 17 million pounds of thrust, and no pilot or controller on Earth can react fast enough to manage that. So instead, Starship is flown by software. And once you understand how it works, Starship stops looking like a rocket and starts looking like a machine that thinks. At liftoff, 33 Raptor engines ignite almost at the same time. Each engine produces roughly half a million pounds of thrust. If even one engine runs slightly off, the forces can tear the vehicle apart. Starship's flight computers monitor pressure, vibration, and thrust dozens of times every second, and adjust power levels and gimbal angles in real time. This isn't autopilot. This is closed-loop control, making decisions faster than any human can. Here's where it gets interesting. Starship is designed to expect engine failures. If a Raptor shuts down, the software instantly recalculates thrust balance, center of mass, and fuel flow, often allowing the mission to continue. Older rockets like Saturn V were designed to fly once. Starship is designed to fly again. About a minute into flight, Starship reaches max Q, the most stressful point of launch. The vehicle is moving over 1,000 miles per hour through dense air. Instead of overbuilding the structure, Starship uses software to manage the load. Engines throttle down, guidance adjusts, and stress stays within limits. That saves weight, increases payload, and lowers launch cost. Now the hardest part, landing. During re-entry, Starship falls sideways through the atmosphere at hypersonic speed. Plasma forms. Communications drop out. There's no joystick and no help from Earth. The onboard system predicts motion seconds ahead and adjusts the flaps before instability even begins. And in the final seconds, the booster does something insane. A 200-foot rocket lines itself up with the launch tower and gets caught in mid-air, guided only by sensors and software. Here's the payoff. This level of autonomy isn't optional. For Mars, Earth is minutes away by radio. Starship has to think for itself. If you want the full engineering deep dive, including flight computers, engine out math, max Q load control, and the tower catch logic, watch the full video linked below the play button. And if this helped you understand Starship better, like the video, subscribe for more SpaceX engineering breakdowns, and follow us on Facebook for daily spaceflight updates.